Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you two use cases for NuGet package data juggler.pixel database. If you are a C sharp developer, you might find them useful. The first one I'm going to use is a program called Sub Image Creator. So I'm going to divide this stock photo up here into 100 unique images. I need this because of when I wanted to apply this to some spheres in a 3D project. So I thought it would be a simple way to make a quick demo. So we're going to go ahead and just run the program. This is Sub Image Creator. I'll put the link in the video description. Let me minimize everything. All right, step one is just browse for your source image. So I'm going to come over here. And it's got the dimensions here. So what I'm going to do is just fill in a little bit of really easy math. And that'll give me 100, you know, 10 rows and 10 columns. Now I'm going to select my output folder. And then finally, just create sub images. Takes just a second. OK, so now we have our 100 sub images. If you look at our little folder here. OK, and now I want to sort these. So to do that, I've got another program that also uses the same NuGet package. So this is called Image Sorter. It'll sort a directory of images by color. So we're going to go ahead and run this. So I'm going to select my source folder. And I'm going to go to Output. And then I'm going to go to my Output folder. And for that, I want to go to Sorted. It's kind of backwards there, but two different uses for output. OK, now fast factor you don't have to do. But basically, this will make you look at every x number of pixels instead of looking at every pixel. So I'm going to make it go a little faster, and I'll put in 5. It should give us the same results. OK, so now we've got our 100 images sorted and copied. And I'll show you those just to give you a quick demo of that. If I go over here to my temp folder, go to Sorted. It'll start off with the, make that a little bigger so you can see it here. Hang on, sorry. Extra large, so I can see it anyway, I'm blind. OK, so it starts off with the blue-green images, and then it'll go down till you get to the blue-red images, and then it'll start the green when green becomes the primary color. And then next, you get down here to red becomes the primary color. And then you get the red, green, and the red blues. So anyway, that was my very short video. I just thought I would show you these if you find them useful. They are both on GitHub, so I'll put the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.